on a night that saw Seth Rollins run through Brock Lesnar. The final battle of Triple H and Batista and Kurt Angle's last match, the occasion belonged to Becky Lynch, who ended the night holding both the Raw and SmackDown Women's Championships high above her head triumphantly. A moment that truly will live forever. Now we jump ahead to WrestleMania 36, the only WrestleMania in history with zero attendance, a record, and the first to take place on both days of the weekend. It also featured one of the most bizarre matches in the event's existence, the Firefly Funhouse match between The Fiend, Bray Wyatt, and John Cena. Cena won a hard-fought match against Wyatt at WrestleMania 30 in 2014, a heartbreaking result for Wyatt, who could not handle the failure. He'd rebuild, capturing the WWE Championship, discovering his inner Fiend, and also capturing the Universal Championship. But he never forgot about the pain of that WrestleMania 30 loss. So when Cena showed up on SmackDown after some time away to announce that he would not be competing at WrestleMania 36, The Fiend took the opportunity to persuade him to reconsider. A simple point to the WrestleMania sign was all that was needed to signal the challenge, with Cena tipping his cap to accept it. Wyatt would lay out the conditions. John Cena would have to venture into the Firefly Funhouse if he wanted this match, where he, The Fiend, would be waiting. Not one to ever back down, Cena remained unfazed. Sure, he didn't know exactly what was gonna happen, but he had to trust in himself and his skills. Skills that had delivered a victory over this man before. But he knew that this was not gonna be easy and that he was walking into the base of the enemy. And without the voices of the WWE Universe to cheer him on, Cena would have to face the mind games of the Fiend alone and hope that he was strong enough to survive. But it's up to you to break Cena down and show him that in the Firefly Funhouse, there is no one as powerful as the fiend, Bray Wyatt. Yowie wowie indeed.